Jen and Tom, we sure do. Incumbent Governor Chris Sununu has been popping in and out of the room, greeting your supporters. You're back in now. How closely are you watching these returns? Uh, we're watching it pretty, fairly closely. I know my team is really keeping an eye on the numbers, but you know, as I said before, tonight's really a night to say thank you. Thank you to all the volunteers, win or lose. They were out in the rain today. They were pounded on doors. Uh, they kept a real positive attitude and a positive message, and that's what our campaign has been all about. So win or lose, we're just here to thank them and have a good time. And um, look, the votes are in, the votes are cast, and we'll, we'll leave it in the voters' hands right now. So we, we feel good. You told us earlier you thought it was a testament to the voters of New Hampshire showing up in the rain today and high voter turnout. Very high voter turnout. I and mean, people come in even when it started downpouring. They'd bring their umbrellas, they get in their cars, they'd still wait in line. People really appreciate the value of their vote. They take it very seriously, up and down the ballot. And I think it's something to be very proud of. We don't let uh, the negativity of, of Washington politics define us. We come out for our candidates that we want to support. And again, we'll see where the results end up tonight, but we feel very good. And you are confident that any negativity coming out of Washington does not wash over New Hampshire's governor's race, you being a Republican? No, I, I, we, we, don't, we don't allow it. I don't allow it. I try to stay positive and and um, you know we bring everyone together. We work across the aisle. We work with Republicans. We work with Democrats, Independents, Libertarians, Progressives, Conservatives. I don't care who it is. We're going to work with anyone just to get the job done in New Hampshire. How important is it for you to have another two years in office? Two years is a pretty short term compared to yeah. other states for a governor. Well, look, we've We've really gotten a lot done in the first two years. We've set a lot of things in motion, new strategies, new ideas, new implementation, but it does have to be managed. Otherwise, as you know, government can grow, it can get out of control, it can start uh, creating liabilities long term, and then you know the other party comes in and wants to raise taxes and all that kind of stuff. So you, like any good business, if you will, it has to be managed. You've got to bring good people in, empower them, lead with positivity, with allow them to be creative, like allow them to challenge their own systems, challenge the bureaucracy. All of these things are what really makes good government work here in New Hampshire is that live for your die spirit. If you remain in office, a Republican in the corner office once again in New Hampshire, what do you say to the voters, the Democrats, who said that they wanted a change? Well, look, we're, I'm, I'm always looking to change, right? I'm, we're always looking to change the system. But change isn't about an individual. It's not about a party. It's about challenging the system to demand better results. That's what every, all, everybody wants, regardless of what party you're in. So we're always willing to bring people into the office, find out not just asking for change, but how do you implement it? How do you get from here to there? That's where you have to engineer the change that you want and make sure at the end of the day, it's not for political reasons. It's just for better outcomes for the people in New Hampshire. Okay, you have a big family. Are they going to be here tonight? Uh, yeah, well, my wife is here. My, some of my kids are here. My mom and dad are here. Some of my brothers and sisters are here. So um, it's really great. It's a great event. They've been very supportive uh, all the way through. And, you know, we're just trying to do the state proud. Governor, thank you so thank very you much for your time. Incumbent Republican Governor Chris Sununu, who's not making a grand entrance, instead greeting his supporters here in Manchester tonight. Back to you, Tom and Jen. Okay.